everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over free paper and halftone effects for Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, here's a little quick edit I did using um, these free paper um, and halftone effects. I'll go ahead and put the download link um, in the description below. So if you want to go ahead and download these really cool paper effects, unfortunately, no, I didn't, you know, end up you know, creating these. These aren't actually, you know, uh, mine, but I'll go ahead and put the download link in the description below. Now, I don't want to act like I completely came up with this um, idea. I got this video idea from Instagram from, you know, uh, a user on Instagram called Video Editor by Emma. If you're an editor like me and you're looking for, you know, video editors to follow on Instagram, I'll go ahead and, you know, put it up on the screen right here. So you can see right here, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and follow her. I'm not saying rip off her style, but she definitely has a very cool kind of really unique kind of like scrapbook um, stop motion style. So I'd definitely go ahead and check her out if you really if you enjoy it if you're trying to find you know video editors on Instagram because I know I've, I've looked you know I've searched for a long time it's definitely hard to find some really cool um, editors um, on Instagram now if you're wondering how long did I hold um, each of these frames well in this example it's just one frame but in the intro I held each frame for four frames so you can go ahead and hold it for longer or shorter I just found that four frames looks the best it's not too fast or too slow so that's you know just my personal um, recommendation now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna kind of go frame by frame to show you each one of the frames kind of slow down so you can see right here I'm just gonna go frame by frame right here so you can kind of just see all the different frames right here so you're basically just you know taking the subject offsetting the subject and you're basically just changing the different you know paper backgrounds. so you're adding an overlay you're adding a text you're adding a halftone effect so you can see right here this is basically the entire effect just slow down and going frame by frame as you can see right here I basically just want to go frame by frame just to show you because you know trying to recreate this entire effect you know from scratch would even if I you know did like a like a kind of like a, a choppy mask or not of a mask it would probably still take like three four hours um, to recreate everything so I just want to basically take the entire effect and basically just show you frame by frame what the entire effect looks like slowed down and you can go ahead you know and pause the video if you want to really look at it um, closely but I'm trying, I'm, not, I'm trying to go too slow or too fast but as you can see right here this is basically what the effect looks like you're just changing the different backgrounds you're adding different overlays you're offsetting the subject now in my opinion I feel like this effect may even look better without a person and more of like a uh, kind of like an object so like a shoe or something I just feel like I think it still looks okay but I think it might look cooler with like just like an object rather than just a person but that you know is up to you and I just want to just show you this different effect right here so you can go ahead you know and kind of come up with your own creativity and there you go so hopefully that wasn't you know too fast or too slow and then this is what the effect looks like sped up right there so you can make it you know, faster slower again in the intro I had it I had it hold for four frames so that you know is up to you and if you're wondering what text I used if I go over text right here um, I used a uh, handwriting right there so that's the name of the text just in case um, you're wondering right there I used um, the handwriting text effect just in case you want to use you know this exact same um, text effect so as you can see if I go ahead and just scroll down right here you have these different ha um, these paper you know rips right here you have these paper backgrounds right here or the, or this, uh, um, half tones right here and then you have this paper background so you can you know import it on import in the timeline put it on top it all depends and if you're wondering if you, you know how do I cut out the subject just in case you're new to Final Cut what you want to use is you want to use the draw mask tool right here that's basically how you cut out a subject just in case uh, you're new to Final Cut I only want to go over is this really cool effect right here where the subject is kind of like rocking back um, and forth it's a pretty easy effect all you want to do is you're just changing the rotation so you can see right here the rotation is at three degrees and the next one right here the rotation is at negative three degrees so you have three degrees right here and then negative three you have three degrees right here and then negative three so you're basically just changing the rotation so you're going like the, the rotation is positive then the rotation is negative so it's like positive negative positive negative positive negative so it's rocking back and forth and back and forth and if you're wondering how long I had each of these last I had it last for 10 frames. I would suggest between 10 and 15 frames. If you go any uh, like 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 four or five frames, I just feel like it goes way too fast. But that, of course, you know, is your uh, personal uh, preference. 
And that's pretty much it. I just want to basically go over this effect. The, the main idea of this video is I just want to basically make you aware of these really cool paper um, overlays, backgrounds, uh, and halftone effects. I'll go ahead and put, again, the download link in the description below. Don't worry, it's like the title says, it's completely free. So this video, I basically just wanted to make you aware again of these really cool effects and show you this really cool um, effect right here if you want to you know, use this exact effect or take some inspiration from it. I thought it was a really cool effect I found on Instagram. I wanted to go ahead and make a video um, recreating it. So that's what it looks like with it. Hopefully, you know, when I went frame by frame, it wasn't too fast or too slow, and that's pretty much it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider that definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro, also a playlist with over 270 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So definitely go ahead um, and check out that playlist. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.